One of the most important things I've learned over my years of doing YouTube videos is that your tripod and your tripod head are some of the most important kit items you can ever have. So what I want to talk to you guys today about is some products that my friends over at iFootage were nice enough to send out. I've done videos for iFootage showing off some of their monopods in the past. I'll leave links somewhere for those uh, around here so you guys can check those out because their monopods are really, really good. So when they reached out to me about this tripod and this fluid head, I was all for it. So we're going to be talking about the Gazelle tripod sticks and the Komodo K5 fluid head. Let's just talk a little bit about the sticks first. This is the box right here. Uh, as you can see, it actually shows the carbon fiber on the box, but these are the aluminum sticks that I have here. So the sticks are in three sections. You have auto locking on the different angles. So once you go up to an angle that you like, it's gonna lock into place. So you have three different angle positions. You have 80 degrees, 55 degrees, and 22 degrees. You have a center post here that's very nice because it has a built-in hook. So if you're out somewhere and you need some extra stability, you hang your backpack from the bottom of this or if you have a bag of sand, whatever your thing is. Me personally, if I'm out with something like this, I'm just gonna use my backpack. There's also another trick up the sleeve and that is if you turn this little area down here, this little red piece, it has it says, uh, you know, turn one way for unlock and one way for lock. And I'm like, well, what the heck does this do? You can actually remove this center post off the bottom. Now, obviously this is, if you wanna get more height, that's your adjustment for your neck. But if you wanna get this thing down super low, then you remove that and you can get 19 and a half centimeters off of the ground so i mean you're almost going flat <laughs> you're almost as in my light you all you can you're pretty much on the ground so that's obviously another awesome benefit to this tripod uh the legs everything's really really well made you have off the side here you have a i believe that's a three eighths tapped hole so you can mount a monitor or some type of accessories off of it it's got the latches that are all aluminum, so they feel really good. The mechanics of them work really well. The bottom of the feet, you have adjustment here, and then if you adjust it back all the way, you actually have spikes. So if you're in some rough terrain or something, or you can leave them all the way out and be nice and smooth for your floor. So like I said, you can get all the way down to 195 millimeters at its lowest point uh, and that's to the to where the head's going to uh, mount and then with the center post you can actually get this all the way up to uh, 1650 millimeters so really high up there so up here you have a 75 millimeter bowl head it's got the little uh, bubble level on the sides so if you're on some odd terrain you can get this all adjusted in also along the side here, snapped on one of the legs, you have an adjustment tool so you can adjust your uh, tension on your clamps for your leg adjustment. So aluminum, we're talking, we're at 2.34 kilograms. So it's not super lightweight, especially once you get the head on, but it is nowhere near the heaviest tripod that I own. We also have, you have the one grip on the one side. So you have some nice grip on the side. So if you wanna carry this around one-handed, you're good to go. Another cool feature that this has is that you can do an undersling type of thing. So you can rotate this whole center post around, bring your camera to the bottom. So your camera is gonna be pretty much on the ground. So you can get a ground level shot while still having the stability of your tripod. So let's talk about the Kimono K5 head. So it comes with its own quick release plate, but I've tested it and Manfrotto plates work in it as well. So that's great for me. You got your pan and tilt arm here. You have your tilt lock over here where you can uh, adjust from minus 83 degrees to plus 90 degrees. Uh, the tension on it's really good. You have a lock for the base. It's very fluid, which is a fluid head, 
but it's a very nice, even smoothness for when you're moving back and forth for pans. You can pan lock it, of course. And then there's also an aluminum button at the top for the quick release plate to make sure you're locked into place. And like I said, everything's aluminum on it. It feels really, really well made. Really not a ton to say about it. I've used it on multiple shoots. I'm actually using it on a photography shoot tomorrow as well. Big thanks to iFootage for sending this out. I think for the price and what you're getting and the build quality alone with this iFootage, the tripod and the head, I think you'll be very happy with your purchase. I'll leave links for it, like I said, down in the description below so you guys can let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, let me know what tripod and fluid head you guys are using. This I consider almost more like my travel setup because it is a fluid head, but it's not as big and bulky as some of the fluid heads that I have or the one that I'm using right now for my C200. Obviously that one has to be larger, but this with my Canon 5D Mark IV, fantastic. Photography and video all in one without it being really big and bulky, I think it's a win-win. So let me know what you guys think. If you've yet to subscribe, you can do that down below as well. And if you enjoyed the video, you can hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.